Hello, my name is Hidden Ramfrey, and this is a Raylib game development tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to create an animated background. I'm going to create an animated background instead of a still background because in my games I like to be all extra and stuff. Now the way I made my background is this is frame 1 and this is frame 2. See, frame 1, frame 2, frame 1, frame 2. And you can see how it looks like it's animating, right? Or it looks like the wind is blowing the grass, right? And that's the way I want the, it to look when I animated my game. And the way I did that I made my grass was I just selected this paint tool and then select the color of green and then I just drew in my grass like this. And then I saved this as grass 1. I already did that but that's what you can do but we, we'll do it again just for the sake of this tutorial. And then after saving grass 1 I just took this I highlight the very top part of the grass and then I use this mover tool right here pulled it up just a little bit and then with the color picker tool make sure the grass is going to be green and then I selected the lines I just redrew the lines in between the spaces and I just kept doing that for all of them and then when all of them were colored I took this paint tool and then just colored in the, the spaces I did all that until it looked like the second frame right here. And then I just saved my second frame as grass 2. I've already saved mine, but uh, but that's what you could do. I just hit save and it, you get that. Okay, so that's the way my, I made my grass. Now, now we're going to make the sprite sheet. Now, now, to make your sprite sheet, you can always go to frame 2, then select all, then press copy. And go to frame one, image, canvas size. You see that the width of this uh, picture is 2000. So make sure your anchor's looking like this. And all you gotta do is double this. And and then, let's see, back up a little bit. And then you can just paste your, you know, your second frame here and then make sure it's all lined up properly. And then you can save as, save as grass, like this. And you know, just give it a name. I can save it as grass. And then click OK. But but I'm not going to do it that way. But there's a faster way that you can do this if you don't want to do it the hand way. And that is you can use this website right here called easygift.com. You can use whatever program or website that you want to use this. But this is what I use. I use easygift.com. It's spelled exactly like this to get to this site. OK. So then I would just go to APNG, choose file. I can delete this file because I'm not going to really use that. I mean, who knows whether that's lined up correctly or not. So I can just delete that file. We select our two frames that we made. And click open. And then upload. And then make APNG. Okay, so that's the animation. And then convert to sprite. Uncustom grid. Check stack horizontally. Convert to sprite. Okay, got our sprite, save. I'm gonna name mine's grass. So now we have our sprite sheet. Okay, so now we're back in our Raylib code. And now we're, we're just gonna talk about this background. I wrote the code before this tutorial, so this background is commented out. So let me uncomment this. And I remember, like I said, the background goes in front of night and day scene we made last time. So these are the background variables that I'm gonna use. I got the current frame. And we're going to animate this almost exactly the way we did when we made our character. So as you can see, we got the current frame. Whenever our background is animated, it's going to keep track of the frame that is on. It takes into account frame one and frame two. Frame counter. This is what moves the frames up from frame one to frame two. This is the speed in which our frames are going to change. And then we're setting where our background is going to be with the X and Y. And this is going to be background timer. And we actually don't need no background timer because we're not dealing with the night and day scene anymore. Okay, so this is our variables. Now we're going to go down and uncomment this other part. As you can see, it's between the, it's ordered in the same way again. Minus the night and day scene because we didn't need to put anything here. So now we're using this function to place our background. And then we're adding the, the grass.png sprite sheet that we just made. See, this file here is grass.png. We're taking this name, 
and put in it right here with the exact spelling. And then here we're just making it so we're dealing with only the frames that we made and the frames that we're using. We have two frames and then we put them both into this one PNG file right here. That's what that is. And so now we go down here and here's our background again. We just uncomment this stuff now. Here and here. So just like what we had with our main character, minus the controls that we had, I, I kind of like even named these the same, actually. All I did was a uh, uh, copied and pasted this stuff here and just put the word background. See? Uh, frame counter, background frame counter, see? Uh, frame speed, background frame speed. And I guess I put them in capital letters too, I guess. But it's, I, all this is just copied and pasted from the character. But this background frame counter, this increments the background frame counter here. And, and whatever number we set this background frame speed to. So we set background frame speed to 1. So this is essentially saying this 60 divided into 1. But instead of putting 1, we put this variable. And uh, whenever this uh, increments, it goes back to 0. Uh, right as of right here and then we're dealing with the background current frames this says whenever the background current frame gets to one then it goes back to zero and and this part just keeps makes it so we only get the two frames that we're working with and no other frame and we put this two here because again we have two frames both into this one png file right here so essentially what this part is saying is this animation occurs all between 60 divided into 1 pixel frames per second. 60 divided into 1 as of this variable is set to 1. See, set to 1. And then finally we put everything on screen right here. We put the PNG files as background. See, we named it background here, right? So we put that put that name here then we put in our frames background frame rec see again uh, this is the our background frame rec that makes it so that we won't we only be working with those two frames that we're talking about and not any other frame we, we did the same thing here and we just put that the, the amount of frames we're working with right here and we put the position see remember remember we set our position right here so putting that number right here and we're keeping it transparent. White means for transparent. And the final thing that we have is we just uh, unload our texture once we close our game. Okay, so let's hit F6 and see what happens. Okay, all right, so this is our game. So see our background is animating. So everything looks pretty good. And let's not forget, we can still move around. And if we look at the screen long enough, the background will change to nighttime. So just let's just sit and watch that. See? So, our game is working fine. And that's the end of this tutorial. Again, take what you learn in this tutorial and expand on it. Thanks. Bye. Dude.